So if I were to render this out, um, I click on File, Render As, and you'd first have to set up a, a like a template of some sort, or you could use one of the ones that are in the, the actual pro program itself. That's up to you. I have a specific setting that I like to use. It's under the... Let me pull it up here. So it's underneath the Sony AVC MC MVC MP4 format. You can use main concept. I haven't really noticed too much of a difference file size wise or quality wise. There is really no difference for that. You can do like a vid audio. You can do like there's MP3. There's even bitmap here for some reason. There's a wave file, AVI, WMV. There's all sorts of different. There are all sorts of different containers that you can use. Um, that can be Sony, Windows, uh, there are like uh, QuickTime, things like that. I personally, when it comes to videos, um, if I click on this, it'll just pull this up. I use Sony and I use MP3 and sometimes Wave if I'm doing mods. Um, because I do mods in Sony Vegas as well. If I click off of this, you'll see that it's re render loop region only. You don't have to touch the metadata options and you don't have to touch the more filter or more filter options as well. You can leave it as is um, like this. Uh, you can also do match project settings as well, which will basically allow you to see what what's close to what you use now. YouTube settings clearly um, one of my best options there because it does almost identical or identically match the project itself. Um, what you can do is that it, to get this setting, you can go to Sony. You can go under Sony and then go to Internet uh, 1920 by 1080 30p, uh, customize it, and a window will pop up similar to this. Now, you're obviously going to include the video, so check that off. Uh, if you don't, everything gets blocked out and you have you, uh, audio. Um, AVC should automatically be selected if not, switch over to it. Frame size, obviously, 1920 by 1080 uh, you can also do custom frame size and anything that you see here. The uh, allow source needs to be taken off because the source file itself, in this case scenario, if I were to right click over here and I go to the details here, you'll see that the simple and clean, this video here, is technically 520 by 336. So you don't want that. <laughs> Not for 1080p video. Um, profile high, obviously. Um, CABIC for the intro coding. Uh, the frame rate again should be 59.94 double NTSC, which is 60 FPS. Uh, the allow source again, check it off. Be like, make sure that's blank there because otherwise it's going to go to the FPS that's there, which I think is like 24 FPS for Kingdom Hearts. Moving on, uh, the field order again, progressive scan because MP4 uh, containers and YouTube themselves. Uh, they don't use interlacing method, they use progressive scan method. Um, pis pixel, p again with the pixel aspect. Pixel aspect ratio should obviously be 1 because the um, you don't want the video to be stretched out. Um, in terms of the actual pixel, um, you want to make sure that it's 1 by 1, not 1 by 1.8 or whatever it is. Um, basically, it's instead of the video itself being 1920 by 1080, uh, I would be basically one by one, if you know if you understand that method. Um, the bit rate is going to be twenty four million because I find that yes, I'll be, I'll be honest that uh, as far as I recall, YouTube themselves only allow thirteen million, uh, basically thirteen megabits per second. Um, this in case like this basically. Improves the quality, but it's they're gonna compress it down either way So you want to make sure that the compression itself doesn't affect the quality in the end Number of slices will be one and the encode mode I have it set to render CPU only if you want to use GPU or if you want to use one of the other ones First go to system or the system tab here and then check for GPU um, Mine doesn't have no GPU. I don't understand why because I clearly do um, I have a GTX GeForce uh, 760, or 745, I believe, uh, which came part of my computer itself. So it's not that great of a video card, but still. Um, 
I use the CPU because my CPU is pretty beast. Uh, I've had no issues with it so far. Uh, enable progressive download, again, stops the interlace, allows progressive, and allows YouTube an easier time to actually process the video. Audio, if you click on the audio tab, I ate, the uh, AAC should automatically be the format itself, which is just an open-ended version of MP3, um, which also ties into the sample rate where MP3 and AAC uh, only run at 48 k kilohertz per second, or kilohertz, not per, I don't know why I said per second. The bitrate should be, honestly, technically, the bitrate should be only 192. I have it set to 512 because YouTube is going to compress it either way. Um, YouTube only allows 192, um, while I have it set to 512, you can have it set to 512 or 192, whatever have you. Uh, the encoding mode obviously is going to be stereo because if you have surround, that's your choice. If you want to get into surround, there are other videos for that. I'm not going to get into that. The project itself, under beside system there, uh, the project itself, the rendering quality is going to be best, obviously. You're going to use the 3D mode that's a part of the project, which is obviously turned off in this case scenario, so there's no uh, additional uh, additional mode there. And the color space will be default because you don't want to adjust the color codes themselves. So once you've done that, type in your name here, just do that, uh, and then hit save, and then press OK. Hit the little star beside it uh, to make sure it's uh, part of your favorites so that you can click on this and just find your setting immediately. And then you would just uh, type it, whatever you know, so fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this out. I'm going to render out a version with the full range as well, just to show you the difference between the two. And then I'll come back and show you the difference in the actual file size and the quality. I'll show you all that. So I'll be right back. All right, then. Almost like nothing ever happened for the last 25 minutes. Uh, it's almost as so if nothing ever happened. I have finally rendered out both of the videos. So, here we go. Um, the, the first video is Fuck You, and that was the first one I had rendered out. And the second one is the basically the same thing, uh, with the added benefit of 32-bit full range versus the other two. If I open this up, you'll basically see here that I'm just gonna mute, or lower the volume here. The quality is okay. Again, Kingdom Hearts, can't really help it. Again, can't help the quality, but you'll see that it is pretty, pretty fluid. Uh, if I move on to that, uh, the Asput one, which is the full range, um, you'll see that the quality itself still didn't make any difference, but the colors pop out a little more. Now, that is the only video-based difference that you'll see here. Um, one is 54.6 megabits, and the other one is 53.3. If I were to take these values and I open up these property windows, so I'll put that up there, and we'll put this one over here, you'll see that there is a small uh, increase in the size, uh, and under the details themselves, you'll see that both 24 seconds, both 1080p, one is running at a total of 18.5, and the other one's 18.1, uh, or 19.1 and 18.6. Um, Still both 59 to 60 FPS, um, still the same bitrate for quality and audio, stereo, and also the audio sample rate. Nothing else down here. Um, otherwise, yeah, no, it's basically the same video file, the only difference being one's full range, the other's not. I don't like the full range because I like to adjust it manually. As you can see that even from the icons that this one's brighter and more, more so vivid. Uh, this one's darker and it's less, uh... It seems duller to me, but yes. Yeah, so I basically I eight bit and thirty two video levels doesn't make too much of a difference. You can close that out. Also, it took about maybe five minutes to render, not even. Both of them I just got distracted. Um, but for twenty four seconds at fifty four, so it's about it's about two megabits per second. Uh, two to three, two to three megabits per second. So that's not too bad for, for those video files. And that's the gist of it there. Something I also want to mention is that if you have, say, a multi-part series, so we'll say one, two, three, four, 
Um, so if you have a four part multiple like a multiple part series of video games or episodes or anything like that that you want to render out and you don't feel like sitting there waiting for it to render then go into file and then render as and then part two etc cetera, etc cetera. um i have a i have a, um, a quick fix for that now bear in mind that there is a reason why i'm selecting it and then rendering it if you don't select it and you also don't have this option selected as well It'll render the entire video out. You need to make sure that you have this checked off and you also have um, the video that you want to render selected so that you're not rendering the entire goddamn project at once. However, if you want to render each individual part into its own file instead of having one giant file for the episodes, what you can do is select the part, press R, and then click off. You'll see that it says 1 and 1. Basically, this is region 1. Uh, same thing for this. We'll do it for all three of them, or all four of them. Do that, that, and that, and you'll see that there are four different parts here. After you've created that initial template that you want to use, if you go under Tools, under Scripting, and then hit Batch Render, uh, it's right here, it's part of all Sony Vegas, um, it'll load up a file similar to this. Now if you go under Sony AVCMC, this is my version, you can use whatever one you have it set up under, uh, if you click this, now, click this, and you scroll down to the bottom of that, you'll see my settings, my template. If you click that, render project renders the entire thing. Render selection renders the one you've already selected. Render regions, however, has it set so that it'll render each region into its own file. So, it, what it'll do is it'll do untitled 0, untitled 1, untitled 2, untitled 3. The um, reason it starts at 0 is because that is the first number it uses, and then it goes up from there. So, once you do that, you hit OK, and it'll render each individual part there. I'm not going to do it, though, so I can close that out. Um, but it'll render each part out as if, as if you're just rendering different episodes out. That's a little key that you want to use there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over to another part of the video here just to show you uh, my setup. And you'll see that it actually does incorporate pretty simple pretty simple equipment that you can use um very very cheap um and it, it's not that it's not that bad so i'll skip over there and um yeah so see you guys in a second hey there creepers my name is jay and i just want to add this little pit on to uh just show you what kind of equipment i have um something you're probably asking yourself is what the hell equipment do you use and that's a very valid question there uh stranger um now here's the thing i do I don't have a professional studio. What I use for camera, I don't, I just have my phone here. Um, just a Moto X Play. It's, it's a very good phone nonetheless. Quality is okay. Uh, brightness is eh at most, but I can fix that and post that and that's no problem. I also have a Logitech uh, C270, I think. Um, and I also have my good old, good old dying HP on me, yep. Yep. Anyways, um, and also, what I use in terms of a microphone is what you're seeing right here. It's a uh, uh, SATA 7.1 surround sound uh, 901 series, I think. Um, it's a really decent microphone. I wasn't expecting it when I first got it, but it is a really good microphone. At the time of getting it, though, I did have initially a Blue Yeti professional stand microphone. Uh, the silver edition, not the professional or the blue bell edition now. I think there's a blue version now. Like, not blue, the company, you know what I mean, the color. Whatever. Um, point being is I did have the silver edition. I really want my baby back, but I had to sell her due to financial situations that I ran into. However, unfortunately, it looks as though that I'm going to have to be putting some more so effort into... My equipment now, because my computer is, it's on its last leg now. Um, my hard drive is, my temporary hard drive is dying. My official hard drive died a while ago in December. And HP never told me that I had to, I, I never, never actually told me that they canceled my replacement order. So, good on you, HP. Eh. But yeah, I... 
do need a new hard drive, and unfortunately, it looks as though I might need a new headset as well. Because, albeit this one is good, unfortunately, if I were to jostle the wire right now, the microphone would cut in and out. Um, it would just, it would, it would be static, it would be, um, it, the wire on the inside must be fraying from old usage. Um, I've had this headset for going on two years now, I think, and it hasn't failed me yet, but I would still like to put in some money towards a Blue Yeti again. Um, I have been looking, but right now I'm not in the financial situation where I can purchase one. Like, it's not perfect. It's a good headset. It really is. It, it does record at 48k, and it, that's, that's, all, that's all I need. I'm not a professional by at all, at all means. Um, I don't have a studio. I, my neighbors can hear me. My neighbors over there, my neighbors over here. Uh, that's a room over. They can't hear me. And there are no neighbors over here. Um, and I'm on the bottom floor, so that's cement underneath me. Um, so that works, like that works, that works, and that works. But unfortunately, my neighbors can hear me. Uh, especially in the closet behind me that you see here. Um, there is actually, um, I guess, some water damage from a previous tenant. So, yeah. <laughs> Which is why you don't hear me screaming in my videos at all, because... That's a little insight of what I can do here. That's what that's a little bit of insight of my background. Um, I do have some screens as well. Um, yeah, I have uh, dual screens there and there. Uh, my webcam is posted there. Um, my Vegas is usually on my left or my right screen, which is the main like my main TV, my Samsung TV. And my secondary screen is for any alternative uh, windows, such as Explorer windows, Chrome windows, um, Audacity. Usually, on this case, it's on the main screen. Things like that. External windows. But Vegas is usually on this screen, so I can actually see the picture. Here's the, uh, here's the basic setup here. You can see. Oh, look. I, I'm recording. You can see the, the recording as it happens. <gasps> the background. Yeah, so that's the gist of it. There's my open ass computer, my lit. I don't even like using that word. There's my mouse. Um, it's a uh, Zelatius um, multi purpose mouse, so it has a back and a forward button, has a double press button. Uh, there's some halls, not sponsored. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's my uh, setup. But yeah, that's my basic setup. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little insight of what. The background process was in terms of that and a little bit of back background of um, what I usually do. I don't have any gaming systems. I don't have any uh, Hopig or Hobage or whatever you want to call it. Hopage. Um, Horpage. Yep. Um, I don't have any of that. I don't have any... I don't have any, like, any stands or, uh, you know, like a, like a sound booth or anything like that. So, yeah. I really wish I did. I really do. Then I could talk as loud as I can. And trust me, no one has heard, heard me t heard heard heard. No one has heard me talk that that loud before. Serious. Anyways, this is the actual end of the video. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up on what's going on. See you, dudes, next time. Peace. Oh, and one more thing before I let the video go. There, I do want to point this out. This is something I also end up doing. Is that I have, whenever you have Vegas open, and you open up Vegas, and you create your, um, you create something that you want to, as like an intro or anything like that, something I want to add on is that this is something I personally do, I, it doesn't make a difference if you do it or not, but if it's, it helps me in the end a lot, because it saves me the hassle of dealing with the bullshit that, that is setting up the same thing over and over and over again. So... You have a Vegas file, you create an introduction, which in this case is like, right, once I pull it up here, um, you have an introduction, I have my intro right here. As you can see, there's no pixelation on this one, because again, it's a codec issue, because fuck me, right? I, uh, uh, yeah, anyways, um, 
you create an intro and you want to use it in all of your videos. I have a file called the Base Vegas file, something I personally created, um, where basically if you click and drag this into your Vegas file and you set it up like this, you create a video track, you create an audio track, and you have it like this. Again, first and foremost, right click the video, switches, and then disable resample. Um, now if you were to save this file, you can actually save it as like, a default file um, to your to your actual uh, to to your files or your uh, your system there. So if you were to um, in the future decide like, oh, I want to create a video, you would take this default file, you copy and paste it, and then you name it to tutorial video, and then you'd be able to open that video or that file up that you just copied over, which has your introduction and everything. And once it's opened up here. Uh, and there we go. You'll have this already set up for you. Like, it's already all set up. It's, um, yeah, it's all set up. You don't have to worry about that and anything. Um, and then you would just click and drag your, your video file over. And voila, you have that there. Now, something I do want to point out now that I have this open and it's rendering out the audio peaks. When you... I personally use Bandicam for my my settings, and I, when I use Bandicam itself, it does output or um, yeah, it, do, it does output a file that has multiple video tracks. Um, reason being is because there is the video game audio, which is the first track, or the I guess in this case the audio from your system, and then there's the microphone audio. Now, something I want to bring up is that this is my video my Bandicam. Um, the way I have my video set up, since I have this open already, is I first select setting or my uh, presets, and I click on YouTube 1080p. Now that's the default. Now go to settings, the first settings button up here, and if you go to sound underneath secondary sound device, you select whatever microphone you're using. Uh, do not click to sound mixing because this is what this is the difference between what I have versus what everyone else has. Um, do not put, unless you want to use push to talk, you don't have to. Uh, I don't like to do that because I edit it afterwards anyways. And do not hit wave file. For the love of God, wave is uncompressed and it causes a huge audio file to save on your system on top of the video. So don't do that. Uh, and then your default sound device is whatever your audio is going through. So in my case, it would be my headset that you're listening to right now. Um... You can also alternatively have your t your speakers, mine's the TV, um, my microphone, which is basically this again. Um, you can also select the default sound device for the secondary. Basically, the primary is the top, the secondary is the bottom. Um, that's something you have to keep in mind. Always make sure that if you're doing commentary to have your microphone set, because sometimes it'll disable itself for some reason. Don't know why. Um, and then under settings, under format MP4, um, obviously change it to 60 FPS. Um, keep it at the H.264, which is basically the CPU version in this case. You can use NVIDIA if your video card supports it. Quality, obviously 100%. And the codec is obviously going to be AAC because it's basically the MP4 of MP MP3s for MP4s. Uh, Bitrate, 192 stereo and obviously 48k because for some reason AAC and mp3s only support for um 48k um fit height which would be 1080p um and then full, you can also change the settings if you wanted to here it's up to you i like to use mp4 it's the best option for me because for that 45 minute video that you see there it's only 700 megabytes so yeah and to top it off, if I were to do what I'm going to do in this case scenario is I will, in fact, this one time, um, open this up and use the maintain aspect ratio because it's not fat facing anybody. So yeah, um, in this case scenario, what you do is just this and disable. Now, if you decide to, you want to mute a part of your audio, or if you want to mute a part of, uh, part of your mic, uh, you would just unhinge the actual microphone, 
cut it with the S key, which basically splits the audio, and then you'll be able to select it and then mute that part of the audio. Um, same goes for this one, U, S, and then click and drag. Pretty simple. I'm not going to mute any of it though, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and resync those. There we go. So yeah, that's a pretty simple thing I wanted to add on as well, since I did have that stuff open because I'm doing the tutorial parts now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, leave a like if you can, and I'll see you dudes next time.